the Kabbalah, the received teaching, the teaching, the teaching we have received from beings with cosmic consciousness, the teaching of our own intuitions that we can learn from our own minds. So I'll quickly run through the Kabbalah. <laughs> Remember, this is not the corrupt Kabbalah of the uh, white magicians and the film stars and the rich. This is the, the QBL, the Kabbalah, the teaching we have received, that I have received from my own intuition. So we have number one. Together, the sphere of the over-self, pure being, the divine essence, the white head, the brain. So everything is contained here. All of, the, all of the points are here. All of these are contained here. All of these are equally divine. The thousand petal lotus. You know, the chakra that's slightly above the tops of our heads, you know, our spiritual essence. And then we come on to the scintillating intelligence, which is Aleph. Aleph, which means an ox. An ox is a symbol of driving forwards. See, we have the point going to movement, which is inertia, so of the image of the ox, the water buffalo, the yak, driving forwards, tether to hokma, from the point to the line, you know, the ox the scintillating intelligence, the excitement of life, of movement. Then we have Beth, which means house. So we have house. So normally we think of this as the mother. This is the mother. This is the father. Bina, understanding, empathy, mirroring, what lies within, what lies behind the surface, the self, the mother, the within of the within, like when you're within the womb, you're within the mother, so it's the within is within the mother, which is within the home. The mother rules the home. So we get the idea of transparency, to be able to see within. So we have equal rights and justice, equality, transparency. Transparency must be for equality. You cannot have transparency for privilege. Royalty is secret, privileged, dark, sinister. This is essential about being fed. This is the mother and this is the point. This is the point of nourishment, the breast. So this is essentially about being fed, about getting an equal share of the food, of the milk from the breast and this is the face of the mother that guides so this is the mirroring the reflection we get back that how we see the world how we judge is mirrored back the wisdom of the great mirror and we get gimel which is the camel which is indifference to external objects, so that we're here in the heart and we're indifferent to the external world. 
of the elements. The camel uniting, uniting with others, coming out from others and going back into others. You know, transpar- transpersonal self from the many thinking as one. And we come on to Hatma, which is wisdom, which is seeing the course of events, seeing the course of objects, the movement of objects, the inevitable course of objects. Illumination. This is seeing the Father. Then we come on to Daleth, which is Hokma to Bina, wisdom to understanding, the, the line moving to form the plane, the surface, the door, whether the movement on the plane is obstructed, whether we can move freely on that plane, or whether it's blocked, whether there's a door, whether that door is open or closed, the area is open or closed, the door. Then we come on to hey, he, the window, the window, so we see, if you like the sky, we see the movements, through the, as though we're looking through a window, the window of our eyes, we see a window, it's the window so we see that movement. This is the gate of righteousness, of teachers. We get Vo, Akma, Hesed, the nail. This is to hang anything on a nail. This is everything. Remember, this is everything in its right place. This is completing a, ta- a task, nailing it, finishing it, tying it down. The nail. pillar of mercy. Remember water is merciful, it's soft and fluid and tender. It fluidly it gives, it yields. It's merciful. So we have the triumphal, the royal road of completing the task um, and then going home, going back into the position Hanging the coat on the nail. The job's done. Then we come on to Bina. Of understanding. Mara. The vision of sorrow. The sea of sorrow. Amma. Understanding the great mirror. Silence. Muna, Mara Muna. Bina, the Tifereth. This is Zayin, 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 of the sword. The sword. If you like the judgment of the mother, it's either choose to stick the sword in it or you reject, you cut it off with the sword. Mother honour with the sword is igniting and selecting, whereas it's the ending is rejecting with the sword. This is the gate of doom, of inevitable karma. You know, time to the, you know, of um, the mirror, of mirroring the self, mirroring the re- ego. Then we have Heth, B, 
Bina to Gabura. The fence. The fence. It's either right or wrong. This can mean grammar with the right or the wrong order, order of words. Or it can mean with the fruit. It can be right or wrong. It can be ripe, which is right, or bitter, which is wrong. Wrong action leads to bitterness, which is wrong. The right action is eat, eating the ripe fruit. So that it's ripe, it's, uh, it's opportune. This is the house of influence, the house of influence, the, 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 the metal, the fence. The choosing which side of the fence you want, which, what is the right order of words, of actions, in, in the flow of, the flow of, reality of the moment. Then we, we come over to Hesed, the sphere of love, the, the home of majesty, the vision of love. This is the water. Then we come on to Teth, the serpent, Hesed to Gabura, the serpent, the secret activities, the secret activities, the going out from home, if you like, to work and dealing with situations that come up and then returning home, the secret activities. The serpent power as it goes as they go forth as we move out into the world as we deal with reality and the flow of events. This is the serpent power. We come to Yod, the hand, S to Tiferin, the hand. This is again is you know really about choice, about moving in or moving out, taking and giving, give and take, give and take. Come on to Hesed to Yesod, the spoon, spooning, loving, spooning, the couple spooning. We have spring, we have summer and winter, we have the temperature, we have to move closer together or further apart. The spoon. Come on to Lamed, Eset to Netzach, the whip. This is what we have to endure, you know, the whip hand or the whip that keeps us in order, the, the whip that creates an atmosphere, uh, if you like, of fear, but of control. It's about control, adaptation, control, self control. Being controlled, being whipped. And we come on to Gibora, the sphere of fear, of power, of severity, the officer. Gibora to Tifereth. Mem, water, 
look at looking into you know comforting for the fear and the self and the heart steadying balancing with the fluidity of the water against the severity of this judgment of the time and, and, and the ego Gavura to Yesod he says imagination this is to do with relationships and friction in relationships you know the full moon, new moon oscillation the f- none, the fish there are plenty of fish in the sea plenty of fish in the sea, meaning the one relationship doesn't work, another may relationship will in the, in the flow of time with the flow of the people you find new people new, new fish in the sea Gabura to Hod Samek the prop Remember, this is, under this, this is um, the earth creates the, the earth creates the metal, the ore. So this is facing stresses, stresses of, of the time and the objects. You know, under pressure, pressure obviously over here, but this is the actual stress, the friction. And the overcoming of that pressure, of that friction, of the objects at the right time. And come on to Tifereth, harmony, in which is just phi, seeing harmony, the golden mean, the golden section, 1.618, the Fibonacci series, this is phi, the primary division into the four of the prana, the dark energy. The pentacle. Michael. The Melakim. The kings. Now come on to Tifereth, to Yesod. Tifereth to Yesod. Renovation, the eye. Remember there's the vision, there's the eye seeing. This is the moving forwards or the breaking or the stopping, the controlling. The determination. The web next sack. The sphere of emotion, the wood, the feelings, the pressures here in the wood. The vision of beauty. But we're now into the pressure triangle so we're down into you know it's like the three dimensions of reality you know the material world which is not the first three dimensions the first three dimensions are the spiritual ones this is a common mistake that, it, that the new ages make that what we call the three dimensions are actually you know these lower dimensions what we call, call the hidden or dimensions, the first, second and the third and the fourth are the spiritual ones Nezak to Hod 
the active, the exciting, this is the flow of things, this is the flow of things. Remember, this is the hands, the pressure, the touch, these are the objects. So this is the flow of things. It's our experience of the flow of things, of getting things, moving things, chores, just dealing with things, work, consumerism, everything to, in the flow of things, buying and selling, and buying and throwing away, recycling. This is all in the flow of things, which is the mouth. Pay, the mouth, the flow of things into our mouth to taste. That's actually yes, Lord. The fish hook. The fish hook. Pin hook. This is this is supply and demand. This is the wood to the fire. The wood to the fire. The beauty to the desire. And this is the hook. The bait. The demand, the craving, the fish hook, the trap. Next, Hector Marcus, the back of the head, a cough, the back of the head. This is actually moving or keeping still, moving with the movement, with every, what's got to be done with everyone's movement, or keeping still. It's having to overcome obstacles by moving, by moving, you know, physical work. Then we come on to hard the sphere of reason, you know, the catalogue. These are the object relations in hard, the vision of splendour, you know, all the full catalogue of things, the names of everything, the forms and names, the catalogue of objects, the inventory, hard, under Raphael and Hanel. Hanel. Then we come to Resh, the head. Hard to yes, odd. You know, the collective. This is seeking and finding. The, you know, the area we have the desire for the particular object. It's seeking that object and then fi finding it. And when you find it, confirming it in the catalogue. The head. Being ruled by the head, by the image. And this is the thinking, the obsession, the craving. But it's the seeking. You know, I must find my glasses, I must find my keys. I must find this piece of the jigsaw. I must find a piece of string. This is on the brush, travelling. Travelling. In the elements, fire to earth. It's the story of Cinderella. The fire to earth is like fire on sand creating glass, the glass slipper, the imagination, the dream woman who can wear glass slippers who's so perfect, seeking for the, the platonic ideal. This is in Resh. Hard to Malkuth, the perpetual, you know, objects in the positions put an object in a position and then we go back and it's still in that same position. We find an object in a position and then later on we can get an object and it reminds us of the original object in that position. This is the, 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 the tooth, the tooth, the truth, the truth, the tooth. Like testing a coin, testing a coin, the truth, the value, 
you know, the, the, the object in the position, that we, the, ha, ha, we've found it, we've tested it, we bite it, it's real. That's shin, the tooth. Then we come on to Yesod, the fire, the moon, the astral, the energies, the fire, the imagination, the passions, the warmth, the humanity, the warmth, the animal nature, the sexual drive, the heat sensitivity. Then we come on to Yeson, to Malkuth, the cross, the tor, the cross, the energy into the world. The cross, at the crossroads. We're always at an energy, we're always at a crossroad, which is a particular point, a real place in our life, and there's an energy stress at that point. Have we got enough energy? Or we'll, we'll be crucified on that cross. Why are we stuck in that position? Or have we got the energy to move the cross? And then we have Malkuth, the kingdom. Remember, Malkuth is in Kether, and Kether is in Malkuth. So all of this, Kether, if you like, as a real world, is actually a subset of... of, of oh, sorry, Malkuth is actually a subset of Kether. All of these points are here in Kether, in the mind. But these are the objects subject to gravity and that are there. In a, in a position that our minds know that they're in that position this is how we've got constructed a reality this is the intuitive structure of reality this is the received teaching about the dimensions built up through the intelligences into the world and therefore how we can like do magic and work things out in advance and plan and scheme and have intent and put a vision into practice which is the whole thing we have a vision and then we go through this process cooperating with others in society this is the way we must cooperate with others see my video on the teamwork